channel here. Today I'm out to uh, ride the Sherco 300 SEFR back to back with the KTM 300XC. So it's the two stroke against the four stroke today. And we're in the. I tried to find a, an area with some good single track enduro style stuff. This is right where this 300 SEFR is in this element. It's right in a trail like that. Tight turns like that, dodging trees, uphills, downhills. That's where this thing is made to go. And it feels good. Gonna have to, we'll know in a minute when we compare it right with the 300 KTM, the two stroke, which one feels more nimble. Dodging roots like that. This is tight, you gotta make sure you don't take your hand off or your head off in this stuff. A lot of these tree roots or tree branches are right there where they could literally just smack you right off the bike. There it opens up a bit. You can't even stand through a lot of this stuff because if you stand, you get, there I can stand, you get wiped off the bike. This is a great section with which to test this Sherco because this is just carving through here and the thing is going great all right let's do it on the old Kato right off the bat I noticed that this thing has a heck of a lot more power going up that hill than the Sherco did all right, guys, you can see that I've lined up the video on these two bikes for the, at the exact same point. I've got the audio a little bit lower on the Sherco since we've already heard the Sherco go up. Uh, so the audio is mostly from the KTM. Let's take a look and see how they do uh, on this section of trail. The Sherco was fine, um, but this sucker just explodes with power. Now, I can tell you. Looks like I'm about four or five feet ahead on the Sherco at that point. Right off the bat here, and we're that this bike does feel longer. I tried to find it doesn't uh, feel as quick to turn. This bike stuff. feels, man, riding it right now. Despite talking about how the KTM felt longer, I'm about five or six feet ahead on the KTM at this point. Through this, this it feels right, right. This and it feels. SCFR. I'm not gonna. Right I'm not gonna say like that. that this Tight feels any like that. really any lighter than that Sherco. But because of because of that pop on that, because of that shorter wheelbase on the Sherco, it turns quick. And despite the Sherco feeling faster to turn, I'm about 15 to 20 feet up on the KTM here. It makes it. It makes it feel freaking quick too and it feels good around these turns no in a minute when we compare it right tight turn on the brake the 300 kgm the two stroke which one feels more nimble the mistake there it's tight you gotta make sure you don't take your i'm gonna go off. ahead and say it i off. think in this the Sherco is turning better than this. Did you hear that? The Sherco felt more natural for me to corner, but I'm a little bit faster on the KTM anyway. Tree roots are tree branches. I like the suspension. Right the suspension bounce Literally better on this one. Right as far as how it feels on the shock. The forks are great on this too, but it's a you little bit feels a little bit heavier to turn this one. You can get on the bike. You know how I like to be honest. Cover clutch there. Back on to this. I wouldn't be surprised at all if I'm faster through this section. 
direction. Along the shirt collar. Not at all. Again, my perception there was that I was faster on the Sherco uh, because it's so easy to turn. But as you can see by this freeze frame here, um, I'm about 60, 70 feet up on the KTM. You definitely, this car, you definitely find the top of the RPM range faster on this bike. And now you can see I've emerged from the wood on the KTM on the right and I'm just it's just right up ahead on the Sherco and there I'm out on the Sherco. And man this sucker the sucker uh, feels longer and you feel you feel that it takes a little bit more effort to get this thing to lean over as opposed to that uh, Sherco. Back on the gas. Okay, this is the same section of trail in reverse. See that flat white rock that's up ahead of the fender off of the left hand side? We're lined up again. Not 304 stroke corners. Great. This thing's got enough torque and enough horsepower. You, you, you really, I've been riding that really really for the last several weeks. I haven't even touched this bike. And this is I'd just been saying there that for the last several weeks all I'd been doing was riding the 300 SEFR the Sherco and you can see I'm pacing really well with it the perfect section in which to test this I'm already starting lots of tight turns on this dodging trees the other direction two or three feet ahead on the Sherco I have to remember to come around this, this way on the other bike. Looks like there was an out. Yeah, an out right there. My line choice was obviously a lot better on the KTM in that last section because I've gapped it by like 60 feet. So let's see if I can close that distance at all on the uh, Sherco. Yes. Spoiler alert, I never really do close that gap, but I also never do get further behind, and it's just a testament to how good this 300 SEFR is. Surprisingly good. Just surprisingly nimble. See, that thing just... And then it's got the horsepower to pull you and then pull you around those corners. The low range, the climbing in the mid, low range into the mid range, and then powers uphill, it just literally... Looks like I'm about two seconds behind on the Sherco. Again, I think that was line choice at the top of one of those hills. Explode on the brakes hard there. Head on that. And you don't have to shift a ton. I'm not sure exactly such what gear I'm in if I'm in second or third. It's probably second. Better the clutch up that a little bit. some trees there that are really tight. My hands it scared my hands there. They thought they were At this point I say in the video and I totally believed that I was faster on the Sherco. I just felt like I was in a better flow in those trees going both directions and I was super super impressed with the Sherco. Now the footage doesn't uh, doesn't say that I was faster on the Sherco. The footage says that I was faster on the KTM and I've been riding the Sherco a lot. That's the only bike I've been riding here for the last three weeks so it was a little bit of adjustment for me to get back on the KTM uh, but that Sherco it did phenomenal. Uh, I was just a little bit faster on the uh, two-stroke this time. Hey guys, if you didn't already know, Patreon is the best way to support Dirt Bike Channel. We've got some really cool rewards over there, so click on the link up here that you see to become a patron. That'll take you directly to our site, and you can check everything out. Uh, you can donate as little as $1 per month, and it would really, really help us out. Thanks a ton, guys.